Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a long while since I last recorded or posted a booktube video, so I will update you guys from the last time I posted. Last time I posted was December, I did the 25 Days of Christmas vlog thing. Um, I really liked that, I ran out of ideas for um, the last week of Christmas, so um, that's why there wasn't any after day 25 or 20, day 21 I think it was. Um, and then um, early December I had an anxiety attack, so January, February, March were like bad month months for me. I was on new anxiety medication, trying to get used to that, um, trying to take care of myself more. Because between my grief for my dad and a bunch of other stuff I was dealing with at the time, um, I didn't find it necessary for me to film in those months. So I was trying to take care of myself. Um, I'm a lot better now. Um, I'm dealing with stuff better, um, coping them, with them better. So um, if you have anxiety issues and... If you feel you need help or you feel like, why am I feeling this way? This isn't normal. Go to your doctor. Ask about if you have anxiety or depression. If something big has happened in your life. Because it is, it's really helpful to have at least something there that will help you through the day. Even if you feel like you have to do it the natural way. Which I tried and didn't really work for me. So, um, But April... In May and this month June um, I did a lot more reading than I thought I would last month I read 21 books this month I read 21 books um, no last month was 25 this month was 25 so I'm getting back to that it took me about a year and a half to get there since losing my dad so I am right now it seems I'm consistently reading the same amount of books each month so we'll see how that goes for the rest of summer and for the fall and winter. But today is July TBR day. So, and since tomorrow is my birthday, I won't be able to film this tomorrow. Um, because I'm going to, I have presents to open. And then um, I, my mom wants to take me out for dinner. So we're going to do that. I don't know what else we'll do because it's so hot and humid this week. But that's the plan for my birthday for tomorrow. So I'm going to show you guys the books I plan to read in July. Now, there are 16 of these. A lot of these are ones that you probably saw in my la my TBR last year that I haven't gotten to yet. So this year I'm really hoping I can. So, the first book I plan to read for July is... The Carolina Variant by Brooke L. French. If you remember last year or back in the fall, I read um, another book by her, which I really loved. And this is part of the um, Traveling Page Tours on Instagram and Facebook. So this one is, it's a thriller. I call it a thriller because it just sounds like a thriller to me. Um, it's basically about this woman who leaves her law practice, which was destroyed, or she tries to save her law practice, and, but it was destroyed in a suspicious, suspicious fire. So, the only recollection of it remains is, like, the building and part of the office, but that's about it. Um, she tries to relive the memories, but it costs, it costs a lot for her to get that back. And last time she used it, she nearly died. So, um, it just talks about that and how, um, someone dies. And so it's like a murder thriller. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I have to have my review up by July 9th for the book tour. So I'm hoping to start this on the 6th or 7th of July. So hopefully I will like this one. Next one I plan to read, which will only be my second book by Brenda Novak, is Killer Heat. This one is set in Arizona, and it's about a private security operative 
who is hired by a sheriff to assist in solving murders. But he's not prepared for the complications that arise when he's forced to work with a woman from his past, who's a private detective. So he um, betrayed her 10 years ago. She's never forgiven him, and he, she's pretty sure she never will. But she was hired to find who has been murdered in exactly the same way as the seven in a valley in Arizona. So she has to work with this guy. They quickly go in on most likely suspect, but the questions remain. Questions they have to answer because if they bet on the wrong man, it might be the last thing they ever do. So basically, it's like one of those Blue Bloods episodes where if they don't find the killer, the killer will then go after them and all that. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. This is part of a series. I don't know. I think it's book three or something. Yes. Yeah. It's book three. This came out in October of... I forget what year it came out. October of 2010. So I probably should only read this in October. But I'm going to read it in July because it just looks like a July book. Next one I'll be reading will be what you probably saw last year's in last year's video, Beach Girls by Luann Rice. Um, this one I'm really anxious to read because it's been on my TBR for like a year or so. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Next one I'll be reading will be The Perfect Couple by Elaine Hildebrand. I read two of her books in June, which I really loved. Um, so I'm hoping to dive into this one in July. It's pretty thick, so it may take me like a week to get through, but I'm looking forward to reading it. Next one is The 39 Deaths of Adam Strand. This is a ya yeah book. It's basically about this guy who, or this boy that um, keeps killing himself 39 times, um, but no matter the method, he can't seem to stay dead. So he wakes up after each suicide alive and physically har unharmed, more determined to succeed and uninterred by others' concerns. So basically tells about that. I'm anxious to know um, how it ends or how this story will go. Um, but if suicide or depression um, trigger you, I do not recommend reading this because it sounds like this is going to be a pretty heavy suicide and depression book. Next one will be The Fast Check by Fern Michaels. I have not read a lot of her books. I've only read like one of her, one other of her books, which I have here on my shelf somewhere. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. This one is basically about sisterhood and family time. So I'm anxious to see if I'll like it. Next one will be, which you've probably seen before, The Sea Glass by Anita Shrive. Um, my cousin Brenda in North Carolina, she actually told me recently, she read this a few years ago, and she said it was okay as more of an um, older-fashioned contemporary read, but she said it, it's, it was pretty good. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Next one is The Long Way Home by Lorraine, it Lorraine Schnelling. Um, my aunt in North Carolina actually got my mom and I seven books by this author so when I saw that I had received this from um, Bethany House Publishing's website I thought oh this is good I'll really be able to dive into this author's books and see if she's an author that I will want to get more books of in the future so I'm really looking forward to reading this and those other ones that I've received. Next one will be um Pieces of Summer by Wanda Brunstetter. I started this book in the fall and winter of last year. So um, I'm hoping to read the summer one and then this fall I'll read the um, very last book in the series. I've read it before so this is a reread for me. I read it about five years ago I think it was. Um, so I'm really looking forward to rereading it and seeing if I have the same feelings about it as I did five years ago. Next one will be Gemini J by Jane Green. This one I will be starting off July with, so I'm really looking forward to diving into this one. It's basically about this woman that's overweight, and she's treated like a maid by by her thin, social roommates, 
and um, lured by the by a beautiful woman at um, a newspaper. So I'm really looking forward to reading this and seeing how she handles that. Next one is Whirlwind by Janet Daly. This is book one in the Champion series. I've never read a Janet Daly book before, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Next one by book influencers that I um, that I received part of a blog tour, a paid promotion, um, is The Coldest Winter I Ever Spent by Anne Jacobus. This one I'm really looking forward to. Again, it's about depression and anxiety, so if that those topics trigger you, I don't recommend reading this. Next one, but you have already seen, Blood Magic by Nora Roberts. I was supposed to read this last summer. I never got to it, so it's back on my pile for summer. So I'm really looking forward to diving into this one. Next one is Fireworks by Katie Kondoga. Um, this one I'm looking forward to reading because it's about 4th of July. I mean, you can't read a book in July without it featuring one a, Ju a July holiday. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. It's a ya yeah book. So it's basically about two best, best friends on the verge of spending the best summer together. So... The next one I'll be reading will be The Innocent Libertarian by T. Davis Bunn and Isabella Bunn. Um, I read these a long time ago um, when I was staying at my grandma's house. So this was actually my grandma's copy. Um, and I really loved it. So I'm, I'm glad I'm diving into this series again. I read book one last month and really liked it. So um, I'm hoping I'll like this one as well. And the last book I'll be reading for July will be Sunset on Moonlit Beach, which you can see it has the colors of the American flag. So I'll be reading that for to represent Independence Day in that. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Those are all the books I'll be reading for July. If there's any here that you see that you've read or you'd like to read, let me know in the comments below and I will happily reply back to you to let you know um, what I think of your comment or um, your thoughts. So I guess that's it for now. I will see you guys in my next video, which will probably be the end of July, beginning of August, depending on how busy July will be for me, because I have a bunch of readathons to do, and I have a family reunion that I'll be going to the last weekend in July. So till then, talk to you guys later. Bye.